That is the deal though. The deal goes. So what Good morning and welcome to Homeless Pelican Channel. Today we will be checking out Aona, which is a small town in Krabi, also known as the Paradise. Maybe it's difficult for the bus driver to pick up the passengers, but we are in Thailand. You can expect everything, so expect unexpectable. This is the place, tourist information, boat center. We have to buy the tickets, we are not buying the tour, just the ticket for the boat. Going there and coming back anytime, it's 200 baht per person, which is around $5. That's way better than ordering like a tour, because then you will have to pay multiple. But I am local, I'm with the local, and with me, you will never be overpriced. It's looking hot. There is not really a schedule for the boats, so whenever there is eight people, we can go to the beach by the boat. So it can be five minutes, can be 20 minutes, but usually it's very fast. So yeah, this is normally how you enter the boat in Thailand. You get, you have to get wet, but not too much. The boat is around 15 minutes from the port until here and we are on Riley Beach and this is true paradise. Uh, we reached the top level, you cannot go any higher. I'm in the paradise beach in Krabi and the water is perfect. The boats are operating until 6 p.m. Okay, the only higher level is like having a one million dollar in cash on that beach right now. But this is not the most important. Most important is have a good company and have a good time. And finally, after hard work, time to relax. The reason why I came to Thailand is just to read a book on the beach. That was my goal. I set the goal and I achieved it. It took me like two weeks to get here. I drove 2000 kilometers just for this moment to be next to the hot bay on the beach, read a book and to set a goal and to achieve the goal. That's the best feeling in life. I'm so blessed right now. Oh, I read 25 pages of the book. I feel satisfied. The beach is super chilled, some people are smoking joints, some are playing the volleyball, some are reading the books, laying down, sleeping, chilling, listening to the music. When I went pee here, I discovered that inside of that hall, there is a dildo. told me that 20 minute walk from Riley Beach we can also get to another secret beach which is like hidden inside of the cave. I even found abandoned villa. I would love to explore. No time. Check out my other episodes about abandoned stuff in Thailand. On this small beach they even have a market and an ATM so you can stay here overnight and you will survive. The place is full of monkeys, which are not really the monkeys. They are called differently in Thai. So actually Krabi, the name of the place we are here, the prefecture, the city, that means monkey in Thai language. Before they named the places after, you know, random things. So that place had 
many monkeys, so they called this place monkey. But those ones are called Kang, in, Kang in Thai, and those are called like something like leaf monkeys. But Jungle Girl was attacked once in Indonesia by the monkey and she has a trauma, so I have to protect her. The king of Thailand can draw on the cliffs, but you cannot. If you will do, you will be charged 1000 baht, which is approximately like $30. They also have like a lagoon and a viewpoint here, but that's pretty extreme. It's more like a climbing. We're fine for feeding the monkeys, so don't spoil them. On the way to another beach are spectacular and actually I am surprised and amazed. Guys, check it out. So the other side is the beach under the cliffs. This is so dope. They also do climbing here and the sea on the other side. This is really nice. This is really good. We should have come here earlier. Thanks for recommendation, Django. It's a Pratnan cave. Yeah, and actually now it's raining, but I really love it. Check out this perspective. You are in the water, deep, 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 and then you look up. Oh. I think I like this beach more than the other one. It has the very unique vibes. Just by the beach, you have this temple where you can pray and also you can sacrifice the dildos. So actually there is a temple for the Indian goddess who couldn't have a child. That's why people are offering. young, successful, pretty, and we have cash. Okay, at least her. Let's check out the city. Savadi Krab! And so here we are, and the monument of the Krab in the city of Krabi. Krabi, the city center, and Aonang. It is 20 minutes away from each other. Next to the Krab, we have a food market. Let's check it out. So this one is like super crispy pieces of small chicken or chicken skin mixed with some spices. Amazing. In the south they have really different food than like in the north. Many local fruits which I never saw before. This is how I like it. The lady just did the pate in front of us. We could feel the heat. It's amazing. Ooh. Magnificent. So this is a Thai dessert. Inside there is a pudding and on the top there is a coconut. Let's try. So just next to the food market near the crab, you can also find local cocktail bars. We are back in Ao Nang and we end up in a bar called Fumon Bar. It's pretty cool. Live music. I'm drinking mocktail. Cheers. <laughs> 